Thank you. Uh, you guys helped me through this because I don't know what I'm going to say, but <laughs> it's, it's such an honor to be here. I mean, uh, I'll never forget, I, I was set to go to the University of North Carolina, and I played in the East-West game and played pretty good. And uh, we had a surgeon at, in our hometown named Dr. Walt Kitchen, Kitchen, and uh, he said, uh, he told some of the coaches to look look at me, the Wake Forest coaches, look at me during the East-West game, and they liked me, and uh, Dr. Kitchen, I don't know where it was legal or not, but we got in his airplane, <laughs> and we flew up here, and, and, and kind of looked over the campus, and uh, my twin brother came with me, too, and we went back home, and Dad said, well, what are you going to do? I said, we're going to Wake Forest. <laughs> and that was the best, best day. I mean, uh, Coach Hildebrand was the coach up here. And um, first of all, there's, there's two people I, I just like to thank is, is my wife, Becky. I mean, she was my sweetheart I tell you what now I had to work for her she lived out on the farm and I'd go help them uh, with the tobacco field chop stuff she she went off to college a year uh, before I did and came up to Baptist Hospital and you know I, I got a Dear John letter from her but uh, Somehow we worked it out, and <laughs> that was that was the best day I ever in my life. <laughs> and my twin brother Wilbert, uh, you, you just don't know what he's meant to me. Uh, I mean, he he was pretty smart. I, I, it took me a little longer to get along, but uh, he'd get up and he said, "William, get up and study." get up and study. I said, okay, 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 we were roommates. And but if I hadn't had, had him, uh, of course I helped him out down the road. Uh, he had a little trouble with leukemia and uh, we were a perfect match in a bone marrow transplant. And we went to Stanford and he's here today. And, But he, 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 he was something. And, uh, but, you know, my days at Wake Forest were, we, we were kind of tough that first year with, with Coach Hildebrand. And we, we, we had, uh, we had two, two good games, I remember. Uh, it was homecoming. And we were playing South Carolina. And we beat South Carolina that day. That, we had lost about 11, 10 in a row maybe nine, and we beat South Carolina, and the place went crazy. Uh, I got off the field, and the next day, they, they tore the goal post down, and the next day I went to the bathroom, and the goal post was in my bathroom. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that was something. Uh, the, next, the, next, the next week, uh, we played NC State. Uh, the game was on November the 22nd, 1963. We were sitting in the motel room down in Raleigh that Friday morning, that Friday morning, because the game was gonna be Friday night. And it came across that Kennedy was shot. And uh, that was that was something. And since we were down there and we had, went on and played the game. I'll never forget the Star Stangle Valley that night. I mean, tears were running down everybody's eyes. But we finished the game, uh, NC State won, but those two games I, I'll, I'll never forget. And, uh, but uh, I was, I've just been so blessed. 
uh, uh, you know, I, I was at Catawba College for about 10 years and head coach the last four years and coached down at Duke uh, for two years. And John Makovic, when he took the job, said, I want you to come to Wake. The best, best feeling I ever had in my life is coming back to school. And uh, I tried to make the most of it. Uh, you know, I had, I've had a lot of different jobs. I, I, I you know, with uh, Coach Makovic and then Al Grove became the coach and what, what, a, what a hard worker he was and it worked hard and we had a good teams. Uh, and then uh, after that, uh, uh, I, was may, I was decided that I had to go into administration. And uh, so, uh, I had about nine hats, and today here they've got about th five, nine people working my jobs. I was. <laughs> I, I was in I was in charge of Piccolo Palmer. Believe that Piccolo, be in charge of Piccolo and Palmer. Uh, I was also. Uh, Recruiting coordinator, academic counselor, uh, and uh, travel aid, travel and arrangements. Uh, I did a little bit of everything. But I, I look at right now, they got five, they got six people doing what I, I did, one. But hey, I got it done. I got it done. And, uh, but uh, Way Force has really, re really been great to me. I mean, uh, playing, playing, and coaching. Uh, the main thing is that, that I loved was the players, and I think they loved me too, because I could. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I'd see there was a uh, problem over the Deak House. Okay, problem over the Deak House was. Of course, my uh, sons were three deeks. I had three deeks at the same time and she, at the deke house, so I could get that, that side. And my three, three sons went to Wake, and they loved it. And uh, when I got my granddaughter went to Wake, two of them went on right, Sophie and Spencer, on the track team and in the soccer team at Wake. They got one at Cornell that plays lacrosse. Uh, and got one at Page High School that's going to be a good player, but uh, got Red and Stowe. They both went to uh, uh, West Point and played lacrosse. So I've been fortunate with, with grandchildren and uh, uh, fortunate with uh, just, just, just fortunate. But, you know, I, Wake Forest, like I said, it's, it's, it's been great, great to me. Uh, I love the place. Most of all is, is I just love the players. And uh, I got along with the faculty too. I mean, I was a, <laughs> I was a academic counselor and I would go, go by to the offices and, and check it, talk with them. And then that's where I learned, learned to respect uh, you just how hard a job they had. But, uh, you know, I've talked enough, I guess, but I just, just want to let you know that <laughs> this is a, Best day of my life. <laughs>